Hi and welcome again. Today we've got for you the Corum Jumping Hours. The Corum Jumping Hours reference 1452120. This watch actually dates back from early 2000s, I think it's 2004. Um, though in fact I think it won Watch of the Year back in 2002. This being the limited edition came out a couple of years later. I've had the watch for a few years now. It's a bit more dressier than the normal watches. I, I tend to go for tall watches. But what drew me to this watch was the limited edition number. I don't know if you can make out on this screen there. Um, but it actually says there it's limited edition of 001 of 300. Which, yeah, it's, it's a lovely touch, isn't it? Um, the, the 300 consisted of 100 in black, 100 in a white salmon, and I believe the other 100 were shared between two different types of precious metals, but I'm not 100% sure on that. The main quirk of this watch is um, your way you read the time on there. A lot of people at first glance look at this watch and look at the uh, indicating window there as being a date window, but it actually isn't. That's the hour window. So you tell the time by hour, minute, hand, seconds. So quite straightforward. Though at the moment it's reading, um, what's it saying now, 12, uh, 12, 16, 12, 17 ish. And as I pull out the crown, um, it's an unscrew down crown, so you just pulls out. As I bring the hour hand, uh, sorry, the minute hand round, it's lovely smooth action. Click, there you go. Let's see it again. It's nice. So that's the way you actually read the time. It's a, it is nice, apart from one small uh, quirk, is when the actual hand is there, it completely obscures the hour indicator. But there you go. It's a non-hacking movement, as you can see, the um, second hand is still rotating with the crown out. It's, as I say, it hasn't got a screw down crown because it's not really a dive watch. So it's a steel construction. 42 millimeters in diameter, which I think is actually a lovely size. Um, as there's no bezel on there, it's it's just all it's all dial, and I like that. It's got a 26 joule movement with a power reserve of around 42 hours. Um, it's only 11 millimeters tall, and it's got quite a nice profile to the side there, which does look quite nice. Normally, the watch does actually come on a dressy crocodile strap which I do have um, with a quorum deployment clasp on there which does look very nice but um, I've got a couple of different straps I, I have it on and I've got a nice chunky big leather one which I normally use or I've just started using this uh, dive strap on there which I quite like not everyone's cup, not everyone's cup of tea but there you go um, one of the other quirks which is a bit strange is if I apply some pressure to the top here you can rotate the uh, crap, the actual um, lugs at the top, which is a bit strange. They're actually connected to the watch via this round disc, which you probably can't see on there, but that enables it to rotate. The reason why, or at least the reason Corum say why, is for comfort. Um, it doesn't rotate that freely, so it's not something which um, will just change, you know, it won't just freely move across, but. There you go, something different. The case back is actually a nice uh, concaved case back there, all signed with the Corum uh, logo and the Corum writing across the back. It's a 50 meter water resistant watch, which is perfectly adequate for the type of watch it is. Um, it has a sapphire crystal with ever such a slight, uh, a real slight dome on the crystal, which I quite like. It's it's a uh, very subtle. Um, there's no anti-reflective coating on there, which isn't a great shame. Um, but one of the only thing I do miss, which I would like on the watch, is um, some loom. There's no loom on the hour markers or the or the, or the minute hand. So once it starts to get dark in low light conditions or so forth, if you go to the cinema or if you go out, whatever, you can't read the time on this watch at all. Um, but that's why we have two watches, I guess. If I put it on my wrist, as I say, I've, I've 
I think it's about six and three quarter inch wrist. I think I have. If I put it on here, I won't bother. But it's it sits lovely. It's ever so nice. Say so only eleven millimeters tall, so it it's um, easily goes into your shirt, no problem at all. And one of the things I really like about it is just the fact it's so it's so unusual. It's not a normal Rolex clone watch like you get many many other watches try to be. It's just that little bit different. And Corum again isn't a, a brand you see all the time, so it's it's something. It's uh, definitely different. But there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. That's a quick review of my um, Corum jumping hours. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to do another video soon. Okay. All the best. Bye.